Hi, welcome back to me and Monami, and today we are headed to the wonderful village perche of Chateau Neuf de Grasse. As you can see, we're still in the area of uh, grass and rock for les pan, and we're headed up into them there hills to a village that uh, neither of us have ever been to, but we are told is absolutely beautiful. So let's see what happens. Mr. Bill, there's heaven over there. Oh, yeah, and live music on a Thursday. What's this beef theatre? Oh, no. It's such a strange. I mean, is it a theatre that's called Birth? Do you think it used to be an old slaughterhouse? Well, I don't imagine it's for cows. Well, the ki critics came and murdered all the acts. Birth theatre? I mean, it's not a genre of theatre, is it, birth theatre? I don't think so. It's maybe not, maybe not maybe. like Grand Guignol. Do you, know, do you know about Grand Guignol? No. I've got a feeling you're going to tell me. It always ended with somebody's head being chopped off, or hanging, or all of the above. It's a great form. What were you going to say? Maybe actors start in the birth theatre and then move on to the movies. <laughs> Interestingly, Ricky Gervais has a house in La Rore. Really? True story, Mr. Boo Factoid. And Roger Moore used to have a house here as well. He definitely doesn't now. Restaurant Hollywood. I mean, that's probably where they used to, used to hang out together. <laughs> After us, they're building a new... A new town. Town hall or something. Or an e-pad. Oh yes, it's a residence. Wow, there's a, quite a lot of building around here, we've noticed. In uh, Rockfort Le Pan, there's a sort of huge new domain being built of kind of apartments, a bit like this on the right, might be the same builder. Maybe he's got a taste for it. Cemetery over there, Mr. Boo. We missed that one. Oh no. Maybe later. <laughs> when it gets dark and spooky. Chateau Neuf. So, we could now be entering Chateau Neuf by the looks of it. There's the school. Here is. The Jeet Commono. There's the Wesh House over there, Mr. Boot Wesh House. Oh, yeah, there's the Wesh House. There's always a Wesh House. What a gorgeous roundabout. Look at that. Well, I wonder if we can drive through it. Shall we try? In that way that we often do and regret it. See what's down here. A very steep hill. It may be the view is coming at it from the other side, you know? Wow, look at this tree. Wow, this is a view now. Soft Rivierians, so that's us. We're Rivierians, aren't we? Uh, I. Well, yes, we are. Wow, look at this corner. 
This is amazing. Where are we going to skid again now? Oh, here. We're going to hit oncoming traffic. Oh, it's a dead end. Ah. Yeah. I don't think we can go any further. We could maybe park here and walk. Or we could try and... I don't think we can park here. Look at that view. Look at that golf course. I know, look at that golf course. That's exciting. Oh. We're around here. We've done it. Wow, look at this. What a... Uh, what a main street. <laughs> Consumation of alcohol is on TLD on this uh, public viewing point. What about up there? Yeah, that's where we came from. Oh, watch down there. Yeah, let's take a look. See what's down here. Oh. This looks like the church. Oh, it doesn't play no cars, does no. it? I can see some cars at the bottom, so there might be a space. Mega church. Wow, sir. This is a good little hill. Not Ooh. like us to do it. No. Steep hill, dead end monster. Up there on the balcony. I don't think they see many citronaries. With cameras on the With roof. With cameras on the roof. And two homosexuals in a chill hour. Hey, afternoon everyone. There's room for everyone. Lovely door. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I've got to get back up this hill. They think we're crazy. Oh, we really are crazy, aren't we? Yeah. That. that is terrifying. that well, don't you think? I think you did that very well. I kept my cool. I could have panicked. Well, folks, let's go and explore Chateau Neuf de Grasse. Do you reckon Halloween? Are you enthusiastic? It's this you've discovered, Mr. Boo. It's the Museum of Forgotten Objects. <laughs> and it's only open Thursday afternoon from 3 till 6. Yeah. Wow. And, and you must have to ring Marie Claude up. And here it is, the Museum of Forgotten Objects de Saint Bastien. Um, I presume it's still open, but then I just had a look in, and if you, I don't know if you can see this, folks, but what appears to be a giant poo in the middle of the table. It might be a pine cone. You see it? Maybe someone's forgotten it, it's an object, object oublier. Well, maybe we'll come back between three and six on Thursday. I love it. I'd love a forgotten object. Mm. I know how it feels to be a forgotten object. Have you seen this uh, art on the wall? Mm. And there's like a, a noose at the top. Do you think this is where they used to hang the people of Chateau Neuf? Well, maybe. I don't know what an Oosterloon is. Look it up, Mr. Boo, look it up. You're the expert. Must be only open Sundays. Or open Thursdays between three and six. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> C'est ça. Et hey, bonjour. Gentil oh, Halloween. Non, no, no. gentil. That's not how to make friends, Halloween. <laughs> oh, look, beaucoup de chiens. Elle a un peu peur, hein? Mais si. Boo's making a lot of friends. C'est avec notre, avec notre voiture. Mais oui, mais oui. Ah ouais? J'habite ici? Ah oui. Un petit chien là. This is the Rue du Fort. Oui. 
here and we, we know why it's called the Rue de Four because we learned in another village that this would literally be where the oven was, where the village oven was for cooking. Probably would have been maybe in this this one or maybe we'll see it. Sometimes they still exist and there's a little little window where it once was. I reckon it was here. Yeah, that with looks it like chained it. up. That looks like it, doesn't it? Imagine the village all came to share one oven. It's a bit like we're gonna have to do this winter, isn't it? Yeah. We'll all be huddled around the same colour gas stove, lighting our own farts for heat. Mr. Mallet, Timmy. Do you think he was the mayor, Timmy? Timmy Mallet, mayor of uh, Chateau Neuf. Yeah. Well known. So somewhere down here, yeah, is Dirk Bogart's house. The Pigeonier. Yep. Where he wrote all the books. Yep. Oh, I wonder if we can find it before the sun goes down. I'm going to clamber up here, and then hopefully, although we're running out of time a little bit. We might just make it to Dirk Bogart's house before sunset. Let's hope. So, we are now going in search of the old Dirk Bogart house. Mr. Boo is a very... You're not taking me dogging, are you? The twilight hour. Well, it is quite twilight it's hour, isn't it? Isn't it? it? it looks a bit like somewhere one would walk one's dog. Well, she's just had a walk. Oh, you've got to be careful of fair glass black ice of black ice. I don't think today. Not today. In our t-shirts. still about 22 degrees. <laughs> Hard to believe that you get black ice with this, but it's amazing how cold these little bits are in the winter that don't get the sun. Um, really, it's quite tight on here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that why you chose it? It's not because Dirk Bogart lived down here, it's just, it's quite tight. I thought, I thought it'd be a nice route. Mm -hmm. um, so he wasn't on this road? No. Because no. when you read the books, you get this vision of him, and obviously this area 40 years ago was very, very different and much more rural. But you get the idea that he was a long way from the nearest village, but I'm not sure he was. That guy was pretty close, wasn't he? I love in A Short Walk from Harrods. Yeah. Uh, his last book. Yeah. Um, which is kind of one of my favourite books of all time. It is fantastic. Um, he talks about having to go to Nice Airport to get the paper because it's the only place you could get a an English paper. A copy of the Times. I like to get the English Times. It's funny how it's all changed, isn't it? Even 10, 15 years ago, people were still buying English papers out here. You can almost... Uh, it's very, very hard to find them. And there's one paper shop in Valbon which does have a huge British uh, or English expat crowd living there. And that has sort of five or six English papers, but it's kind of unique. So we're going right here, where he came from. Right, up here? Right. Oh, right. Wowza. This is pretty magical and pretty tight. Especially at this time of day. I'm meant to be in my bath chair now, Mr. Boo, having a nap. Not, not driving the Monte Carlo rally. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? Oh my God. It's rush hour as well in Chateau Nerf grass. Look at them. They're flying up. He's waiting for you, that's nice. That's a very nice man. Yeah, see. A few scratches on that wall. I can't think why. Uh Guessing this way. Not down there. Go on now. That would have been a bit of a disaster. <laughs> I wouldn't mind 
There's no way to pull in. I'd like this woman to get off our arms. Oh. I don't even know, is it? that house. Wow, it looks. It does look similar. This is terrifying. Wow, sir. Oh, if something comes in the way, but I'll die. This is so narrow. And it's getting dark. Wow. You think, you think Dirk lived up here? Yeah. Wow. And he drove up here. Well, forward did the driving. Forward didn't I mean, I wonder driving. he got forward to do the driving. He just wrote the books. Very wise. He made the movies. Death in Venice. Doctor in the house. When did you last see my trousers? I made the third one up. It's it was up here, yeah. 255. Shall we find out somehow, maybe? No. Oh, it's... no. <laughs> We're going oh, he's going up there. Oh. To us, I think. I think the last time anybody came up this road was when Dirk Bogart lived here. They came to value his paintings before he sold up. Merci. Ooh. Is the camera all right? Camera's okay. Oh, it could have been down that one. That, that's, no, it's, it's that one. Really? It's either down this, that street. Yeah. Or it's there, but I think it's down that street. But I don't think we should drive down it. What? It's a dead end. Because it's a dead end and it's dead steep. You could park under this tree for a second. Do some spying. You see, I think that's very similar to the first one we looked at. I think you're right. As we came in, that's what I recognise. I think it'd be higher up. So we're going to attempt to escape these incredibly narrow roads take one last look at this building at the end, see whether we think that is Le Pigeonnier. So there you have it, that was Chateau Neuf de Grasse in the golden hour. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a like, please give us a comment, please perhaps buy us a coffee, help support the channel. Have a great week, everyone, and remember, stay charged.